Hello, so I'm going to start off. I'm trying to help you work into numerical calculations. And the and I think that we're just going to use Python. And so in this I'm just going to show you how to make plots. Because normally if you make if you make a, a calculation, a graph is something that you could get out of that. Okay, so I've already have a program right here. Um, and the beauty of Python is that you can have a module and you can import it and you can use it. Now, just about everything that you need, but not everything, can be found in this PyLab module. So once you have Python installed, and if you go right here, you can install uh, PyLab, uh, and it has a whole bunch of stuff that you need. Okay, And so if you have that, then you can follow along. Hopefully you have that. It's also called SciPy, I think is the same thing. I'm not actually sure. And again, I want to point out that I am not an expert. And some of the things that I do aren't the most optimal, and but it works, okay? Okay, so let's say that we have some data. And in this case, I'm going to write the data as two lists. So in Python, we can make a list x equals 1.1, uh, 1, 2.2, 3.0, 4.1. I just made that up. So with these uh, square braces, and comma separate the values, you get a list. And there are also arrays in Python, um, which are probably kind of similar, but let's just stick with the list right now. Again, this is where you can see I don't really know what I'm talking about. Okay, now I'm gonna say y equals, I'm making up stuff here, 0 0.3, 2.4, and 1.3. Okay, so now I have X and Y data. What am I going to do? I want to plot it. So if I've imported the PyLab module, there's a plot function already built in. So I just say plot X, Y, I give the two, two things, and then you have to say show. Okay, so now that, that's it. I'm done with my program. That's it. Let's run this uh, and see what happens. So here is what I get. I get those four data points plotted like that, and they connected by a line because it's a plot. Now let's just let me just show you. I'm going back over here. If I called it a scatter plot, and then I run it, it just shows the four data points. It doesn't connect them. For the calculations we're doing, we're probably going to be using uh, a plot, so we would change that back to plot. Now there are a lot of variables, uh, things that you can add in here. I could say uh, line width equals three, and it's thicker. You can change the color of the line. Um, if you plot more than one thing, let's make this y2 equals uh, 0.4, 6. Point, no, let's say 3.65, okay, 2.2, and 4.2. Now I'll go down here and I plot x, y2. I can do that. And let's give this one a line width of 3 also. And run it. It's going to automatically make them two different colors so that you can distinguish them. So that's nice. Okay. More things for the plot. Uh, we can turn on a grid. I don't know why, but I always like this. If you say grid true. It puts this background grid, which looks kind of cool. And you can save this picture right down here. You can save it. You can also move this thing around. Uh, click this. You can move it around. You can zoom in and out. You can do all sorts of things um, once you've already plotted it. OK, uh, it's not a graph if it doesn't have a X and Y axis labels and a title. So let's say title, this is a graph, yo. No, that's what my daughter would say. I'm not going to put that. This is a graph. See, it's right there. Okay. Now let's put an X and Y label. X label thingy. Y label another thingy. Thingy, another thingy. See, I did it. Okay. We're having fun here, right? This is fun. 
Okay, uh, one more thing. What if I actually wanted to call these different things? And I could call this, I could say, label equals thing one. And down here, I'll put label equals thing two. So they're two different sets of data. Now down here, anywhere, I can put, um, what's it called? Legend. And the default is to put the legend in the top right corner, but if you put legend location equals one, two, three, or four, you can put it wherever you want, and then it makes that nice little thing right there. Okay, so that's graphing. What do you think? Not too bad, huh? So you should be able to do that. Okay, I'm gonna stop. This is really me stopping.